Many ask us how to start reselling digital signage. Basically, all you need is a website and some flyers to advertise your services. What are your services? You provide digital signage services, which means placing screens in high traffic locations where there is dwell time and charging for ad spots, as well as providing digital menu services for restaurants who wish to switch to digital menu boards. They will rely on you to provide them with an affordable solution. Digital menu boards is a need. Fast food restaurants rely on them to showcase their items, nutritional facts, food images, and prices. We can set you up with a website and flyers for a small charge, or set up your own and start selling. Here are two short videos on how you can make six figures selling digital signage advertising, as well as another six figures selling digital menu boards. How to Set Up a Digital Signage Network by iMotionMedia.com Digital signage advertising networks are extremely profitable, if done correctly. The concept is to find high traffic locations to install digital screens and sell ad spots to people who want to advertise in their area, without spending an arm and a leg, yet still get the exposure they normally would advertising in traditional medias, such as a local newspaper or by delivering flyers. Let's use a 10-screen network as an example. First, you need to find 10 high traffic locations where people dwell for a period of time, such as restaurants, coffee shops, hotel lobbies, gyms and spas, hospitals and clinics, shopping malls, supermarkets and convenience stores, and other such locations, all within a two mile radius from one another. Proximity is important as clients won't advertise in areas they don't serve. This means your entire network of 10 screens should be within a two to three mile radius. Exceptions apply depending on variables, such as if you're doing this in a large city or a small town, its size and area, as well as its population. The price you charge per ad spot also depends on these variables. You may also decide to charge advertisers per location at a lower price, or for all 10 screen locations in your network for a higher price. Here are the two different business models. Business Model 1. Let's say, for example, you charge $300 per year for one location and you sell 50 ads per location. Your net income would be 50 ads times $300 per ad, equals $15,000 per screen location. Multiplied by 10 locations equals to $150,000 per year in revenue. Business Model 2. If you charge $2,500 for all 10 locations, then 50 ads multiplied by $2,500 per ad would also yield you $150,000 per year in revenue. Even if you only charge $1,500 per year for all 10 locations, multiplied by 50 ads would generate you a $75,000 yearly income. Not bad. The great thing about digital signage advertising is the renewals. Most of your clients will be renewing on a yearly basis, and that's called passive income. Sweet! Once you've secured your 10 host locations, install a TV with a media player in each location. Then advertise your pricing available locations and contact information within your own network, as well as adding a few advertisements on behalf of your host locations and their products. Remember, this is digital signage. You can also make money servicing fast food restaurants who understand the need to go digital by providing them with digital menu boards and monetizing on hardware, such as the TVs, brackets, mounts, and installation, as well as the backend services, such as content management software, menu design, monthly maintenance fees, updates and consultations, averaging a few thousand dollars per job. Make sure you have a website advertising all your services as well as pricing, a PayPal account so you can accept payment, business cards, and all necessary marketing tools. Also, be sure to strategically calculate your loop time. In digital advertising, loop time is the length of time in which all your combined ads run from beginning to end. So if you are placing ads in a convenience store, Note the average amount of time one spends in a convenience store is about 5 minutes. 5 minutes times 60 seconds per minute equals 300 seconds. Divide 300 seconds by 10 seconds per ad equals 30 ads. You can fit 30 ads in a convenience store. Whereas in a gym, the average person spends an average of 60 minutes. So 60 minutes per hour times 60 seconds per minute equals to 3,600 seconds, to which you can fit 360. 10 second ads in a gym if you play each ad once. As per in a restaurant, the average dwell time is 45 minutes. 
There are many different ways to set up an ad network, calculate ad spot prices, and approach local business owners so as to install an ad screen. Call us for a consultation on what your approach and business model should be. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information, tips and tricks on how to make money with digital signage, which is fast becoming mainstream. Imagine owning a business where every other business is your potential customer, in an industry with no limit on how much you can earn. Now you can with iMotionMedia.com. Get started and take advantage of our 10-screen network package. The following is part one of our Digital Menu Reseller program geared towards helping our resellers or those who wish to become one on how the process works. Remember, we'll make sure that you make sales since we'll be supplying you with all of the hardware, software, and necessary tools needed to get started and make sales. If you don't make money, we don't make money. These videos will show you what to do and what not to do. If you follow the general idea in our videos, you will build a successful digital signage business. Contact us anytime for questions. Other than finding high traffic locations and selling digital signage ad spots, providing digital menu boards to fast food restaurants is also very profitable. There are high demands for digital menus, especially by mom and pop shops who understand the need to go digital. For example, a 40 inch TV costs about $300, a media player with signage software and menu design $250, the TV installation with bracket $200. It would cost approximately $750 to install one digital menu board. Companies on average charge about $2,000 per screen installed for a profit of $1,250 per screen, and restaurants usually need between three and five screens to display their menus. Resellers realize an average of $5,000 in net profits per job. Of course, some installations may need video walls or more complex designs, hence higher profits. Even if you only charge $1,500 per screen, you are doubling your profit margins. We provide signage players with software and we also design the menus. Our resellers resell these services to restaurant owners who are searching for companies to install their menu screens at reasonable prices. Our services are fully white labeled. That means you sell all our products and services under your own brand. Make sure when setting your prices to find out first what the signage companies in your area are charging and charge accordingly. We'll help you with that. Step one is understanding the industry and how the process works. This means making your first sale without thinking of the profits and just focusing on the experience. Thereafter, you can determine how much to charge going forward. Start by making a sale to someone you know who owns a restaurant or any other type of business needing digital signage. Check out our other videos on how to sell digital signage to different industries.